Once you have your strip of paper, whether it's a designer piece of paper that already has designs on it, or you have painted something on a piece of paper like I did, um, you want to score your lines. And I have already scored, I started scoring it, but I thought it would be better for me to show it to you on a video instead of um, picture by picture. So I'm going to turn my painted side down so that I'm not scoring through the actual painting. I'm just going to flip it over. Um, if you remember the taking a look at my templates, um, on the actual template that I have shown, I have the score and the cutting on one side, but then I had you flip over and score the valley folds, or rather the mountain folds on the other side, um, on, on the back side. So you score the half inch lines, which is the half inch, five and a half inch, and 10 and a half inch on the back side. That way, when you're actually creasing, it's already done for you, so you really don't have to remember how they're going to fold up. So you see, I have my valley, mountain, valley right here, and again, valley, mountain, and then the end, right? And we're just going to cut these ends off here with scissors. And so I'm going to do the same here, only because I don't want to um, score through my paintwork, my, my artwork. I'm just going to go ahead and score everything on the back side here. So um, I've already scored it at the one inch and then here I have the five inch, six inch and then the 10 inch mark, right? Now I want to score at the half inch. So I'm going to score at the half inch here and I'm going to score at the five and a half inch right here. And then I'm going to score at the 10 and a half over here. Um, and then I need to cut, um, sorry, score um, half an inch down, down this way. So it's marked at two and a half on the template. So if you look at the template that has the score lines for the first part, the one, five, six, and ten, you'll see that on the corner I have marked two and a half. That's the two and a half inch mark is where you're going to be scoring. It's only half an inch um, that you're going to score all the way down okay so here i have on my score pal you can see that this is a two and a half inch mark which is what i meant by the two and a half on the piece of paper that i wrote just make sure your paper is flush on the tray and you're just going to um, run your uh, bone folder all the way down the two and a half inch mark so then you have a line that goes all the way down do you see that all right now we're just going to cut, trim off this, this, and this. So using scissors, I'm just going to trim off this corner here. So these two little parts here. One, turn it over, and just like that right on the score line. And I'm going to cut this center one here, these two little squares. There we go, my scissors in and cut across. Okay, and then the last two squares we're gonna cut off right there. So this right here. And then just going from here, like that. All right, so there you have it. I'm going to go ahead and fold this this way. And then this will then go like that. So you have this fold here. Okay, you have the center one. You want the center to be the mountain, and these are two on the ends are valleys. So valley means I'm gonna fold this way to create the the V, right? And then the mountain is the fold that um, comes up like that. Okay, 
and then you need the other valley which is right here like that so now I have that shape right there and then same here you want the valley and then the mountain in the center so create the valley by um, folding it like that and then the mountain folds over the other way like that so you end up with this piece so now when we put it together oh, don't forget to um, crease the bottoms in okay so when you close it up it's going to look like that so this this one folds in right there so when we put our adhesive on you're going to put the adhesive on here like that okay or like this just depends on what you want sticking out doesn't really matter it does if you have a pattern design and you want to keep the pattern going and then so this is one side of the bag this is the top part of the bag these are the sides and this is the bottom and then these two parts this is going to adhere to either side of the card right and when the card opens it's going to pop up and we'll get to that part in the next video